All right, for today's video review, we're gonna be taking a look at Transformers Classic Heroes Team Optimus Primal. Uh, yeah, the uh, the Classic Heroes Team is basically a, a, a subline of the Rescue Bots Academy toy line. So, you know, more or less just little simple uh, transformation preschool-y type Transformers. And yeah, this is the only, uh, only Rescue Bots Academy type figure that I have, you know, it, there's lots of cool toys in that line, just I, I'm obviously not the target demographic, but this one in particular I thought really looked cute, so I wanted to pick him up. And uh, yeah, it's just a simple little one-step change Optimus Primal, and here we have him in his little uh, gorilla mode here, looking very cool. I love his little uh, his little angry, happy face expression there. Um, he's got like the two missiles on the back. He's quite slumped over, which is, eh, you know, maybe a little bit awkward, but, you know, it's, it, it's a pretty simple figure, so... It, it it's not going to be like that proportionally accurate to a gorilla. I think it works well enough. Uh, in terms of size comparisons, just for some standard ones, here he is with uh, Kingdom Sideswipe and uh, Kingdom Soundwave. So you can see him with an average size deluxe, average size core class figure. And then for some Optimus Primal uh, comparisons, here he is with Kingdom Optimus Primal. Just so you can see what they look like together there. You can see he's really much more of like a... His fur really isn't black. It's kind of this like gray, maroony brown type color, which you don't notice so much when you're looking just at him. But when you're comparing it to something that's like actually, you know, the color black, then it does kind of stand out. I think it works well enough. They, I guess they just wanted to make it a slightly lighter color. Um, and here he is with the uh, the reissue of the original Optimus Primal, just so you can see what they look like together. Very tiny little guy. And then uh, for the most apt comparison that that, that I have, uh, here he is with the uh, the Play School GoBots Gorilla Bot from like 2002. <laughs> I've literally had this figure since I was a uh, since I was a kid. And uh, yeah, kind of a similar vibe there of uh, basically just a little one step Optimus Primal equivalent. They don't call him Optimus Primal, but that's more or less uh, more or less who he is. But yeah, uh, for transformation, it's uh, very very simple and kind of fun actually. You pretty much just take the arms and then you spread them out this way. So you just it can be kind of it can get stuck sometimes, but uh, there we go. Come on, It'd help if you kind of like push the legs back too. There we go. And you've got him in his robot mode. And uh, yeah, he looks really cool. I love his chibi little proportions. I just think he's really adorable. Like just, I don't know, a little cute, simple. He's got the kind of gorilla arms thing going on here too, where his arms are kind of spread out to the side. His, uh, his head's a little bit flat when you look at it from the side because it kind of just is part of this you know back flap of the gorilla mode and uh but you know I, I think it works well enough he's got a nice little facial expression there definitely looks very accurate to uh to optimus primal uh one thing i find is a little bit annoying is sometimes his eyes from his gorilla mode kind of peek out in the chest are there and to, to remedy that you pretty much just want to like bend the arms all the way back so they sit maybe i don't know slightly out of his uh like center of balance but i i, I you know obviously it's a very simple transformer and I, I think it comes across pretty well all things considered obviously there's no real articulation in this mode i mean unless you're counting like just going back into gorilla mode and it's really that easy i do find that it's like it, it gets stuck a little bit more sometimes when you're going to robot mode but gorilla mode is always very simple it's just like turn the arms in and there he is whereas sometimes you know that kind of happens where you get stuck there and like it, it can kind of help if you're like you know forcing that this hinge to kind of go to because it's really that his face gets caught on like the chest piece or something like that but it, it is a little annoying that that's not easier since like that's kind of the whole fun of this guy but you know that's not a huge deal all things considered um uh, i will say i am a little bit worried about some of the longevity of this because like in terms of the transformation the face here which i'm fairly certain is painted i well actually i don't know it might be a different part but it looks like the the gray of the face is painted and when you do transform it it really does rub up against the inside of the chest plate here and i think the the paint on the head also kind of bumps into stuff too sometimes when it's like going back into robot mode so like i it could kind of scratch away some of that stuff eventually, like if you do it too often, which is not the biggest deal in the world, especially since it is kind of just like a, you know, play schooly transformer. But, you know, if it was engineered in a way where they weren't rubbing the paint against, you know, like other plastic bits, that probably would have been better. But, 
you know, not really that big a deal, just worth mentioning. Um, he does have some slightly hollow bits. Like if you look at him in gorilla mode and look at the uh, the back of his arms here, they are very, uh, very cavernous, which you don't, ooh, dropping them all over the place here. Uh, you don't really notice from most angles unless you're literally looking at him from behind in gorilla mode. Because in robot mode, they end up kind of, you know, facing the inside of the body. And the hands are a little bit hollow here, but eh, whatever. And then the feet are just like a big cavity but that's okay because you know you have him standing on the ground so who even sees the underside of the feet but uh yeah in terms of comparisons here he is again with side swipe and sound wave for the standard one so you know somewhere in between a core class and a deluxe pretty pretty small little guy um here he is again with kingdom optimus primal and here he is again with the uh the reissue of the original optimus primal who you can't see nearly at all there they are um, and then last but not least, here he is again with the GoBots preschool gorilla bot who are very, uh, he feels like a spiritual successor to just like taking this concept, but doing it more like, you know, like traditional Optimus Primal colors and, and making them a bit more referential to the actual character rather than just being a, you know, vague spiritual successor like this one kind of was but yeah he's a lot of fun um you know there's obviously not a lot to this figure and if you're not into the sort of like you know quick change like play schooly type transformers then it obviously is not going to do anything for you i just think he's really cute and honestly the uh, the transformation back and forth i think is pretty satisfying like i said it, it does sometimes get stuck when going back into robot mode but not all the time it's just a little bit more clunky than how quick and easy that is and either way it's pretty fun no matter what but yeah you know not much else to him he's just a, a simple cutesy little optimus primal and that's okay uh if you enjoy my videos make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing i do reviews every tuesday thursday and sunday and without further ado here we have transformers uh classic heroes team optimus primal